Hey Sam here, welcome to this demo of Let Mailbox. It's a brand new software that allows you to be able to create awesome elements into your emails. Now, the cool thing about this is the interactive or the visual impact that these make cre creates uh, better conversions. You are three times more likely to get clicks if your links are presented, say, in a button or a clickable image. Uh, you can also insert a whole bunch of other things, including e uh, video into your emails using this. So I'm in the software here. If I go into the element section, uh, I go create new element. Uh, we can have a look at some of the things that's included. You can do uh, a video, uh, yes and no bar, full-blown polls, question and answers, uh, all sorts of different things. If we go to conversion, uh, we got different timers, uh, call to action buttons, uh, different widgets that you can put in. Uh, even You can even embed social media content such as Instagram photos, all sorts of very cool things uh, within this. And then of course video, YouTube, Vimeo, all these sorts of things. Uh, Google Map as well, which is handy for business marketing uh, information too. So it is quite a cool software that allows you to be able to create these little widgets, uh, these little images, these clickable uh, buttons, uh, even putting the videos into your emails to make them display a lot better than say a plain text email or formatted email as well. Now, inserting these into your email is quite easy. It is as simple as pasting in a line of code. So for a full walkthrough of the software and for examples of what the emails can look like, I'm going to get Kimberly from the Let Mailbox team uh, take you through in detail how to do that. If uh, if you want as well, you can check it out in detail down below on this bonus page to have a look at the feature list and things like that and skip uh, hit that Get Access Now button to be able to get through to the sales page quickly and easily as well. So this is Sam. I'll pass you on to Kimberly to have a quick look through the software. Okay, so to begin, let's get right in here. I'm going to go ahead and log in to Let Mailbox. And this brings me to my Let Mailbox dashboard. This is what it looks like right there on the inside. You can see that I have to to 25 total elements here and then 262 total clicks. So you see your overall stats right here. Scrolling down, you can see the last few elements that I've used in here and those show up just like that. Okay, so right in here in elements, these are the elements already created. If you want to create a new element, then you just go right up here to create new element. Okay, so right here you would put the element name and the category. So I'm just going to put new element, for example, and the category is general, or you can make this whatever category you want if you want to categorize those. In here in the element type, you just have autoplay videos right here, self-interacting elements, conversion elements. So these are the different types of elements along with growth and engaging elements. So they're laid out there easily. So if you know what you want to do, you would go right in here and select your element. I'm just going to lay these elements out for you here. I've just got them laid out in this nice document so you can see what they look like. So here's what your autoplay video with a mute button technology looks like. You can see it right here on the right hand side. This one is a yes and no bar so you can see that you can just select yes and no and you can of course customize these as you want. These are experienced rating feedbacks so you can select these different types of feedbacks and then we have polls integrated in there as well so you can lay out your polls. Question and answer forms, these are popular so you can just type this out and then of course ask them to answer the questions. We've got a group event poll and so for example somebody's having a bachelor party let's see when is the best date for that to happen and you're just basically doing a poll so people can say hey it's better on May 1st or hey it's better on June 3rd. All right, scarcity timers. We've got four different templates here for you to choose from. Of course, on those you can also edit the color. So that makes it nice. And then clickable personalized images. This is what this looks like. So you've got your clickable images right here. You click on right here. You can add your first name. And this um, would basically insert the name of whoever's on your email list into there. So it would say, for example, Kimberly, this toolbox can be yours. And then of course we can also do Google Maps. So this is a clickable link uh, that you can basically put a Google Map in there if you want, for example. Here are clickable buttons. So if you want to do certain percentage off or coupons, things like that, 
you'd want to use the clickable buttons. Footer widgets are here, so you can just have your widget that puts your footer in there really easy. Signatures, this makes it really nice and very appealing as well. That's what the signature looks like here. And then we've got clickable social badges here. So of course you can do your social media there. Share buttons as well for social media. We've got your Twitter feed that's uh, clickable in bed there. And then of course YouTube here, clickable in bed as well. And then a video embed right here. Here's the Google Maps embedding, so you can see what that looks like. This would actually be the Google Map that shows up on the inside the email. And then here's a Twitter embed. So this is a post that I posted on Twitter. You can embed that right in your email. A Pinterest embed as well, right here. And then also your Twitter feed embed. Here's a GIF embed. And here is an image embed. So that shows you all of the different elements that are included in Let Mailbox. Okay, so before I create a new element and show you how that's done, I want to show you the results of using Let Mailbox. So here's my email. This is the email that went out. Get your videos created automatically. This You can see that I got 641 opens, 92 clicks. And I'm going to go into here and show you exactly what that email looked like. Alright, so right here you can see that I have an Ill image element right here at the top. Okay, that's your image element. Next, I've got a video element right here. You can see the mute button technology right over here. Now, if somebody wants to hear the audio on this video, they're going to click that mute button right there. That's going to link them over to the web page with the video. Okay, you can see right here I've got another video element added in here to the email. And then I've got some buttons. So these are the button elements added right in here. Okay, and then you can see right here that I've got the signature element added. So let me show you how easy it is to create an element and add it into your email. Okay, so we're going to start right here with the video. You can choose the media. You can just choose a GIF or a video. Or I'm going to choose the video. These are videos that I've already added in here. So I can go ahead and select from my uploads if I want right here. I'm going to select this email here sorry, this video right here to add into my email. And then I can take and enable the custom thank you URL. And I can put whatever URL I want in there. I'm going to go ahead with this. Go to mycompany.com or whatever you want in there. And then go ahead and submit. So that element you can see is created. Now, if I'm ready to put that into my email, I'm just going to click right here where it says copy code. That's going to copy it in for me. I'm going to move right over to my autoresponder where my email is, and I'm going to go ahead and get that pasted in. Let me show you. Let me go into my drafts. So you just locate your message. I'm just going to create a new message so you can see how this is done with the code. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and select here, and I'm pasting my code right into there. And now you can see it's popped in there. Okay, that's how simple it is to create an element for the video there. Okay, so that shows you just how easy that is. Now I'm going to show you how to go in into the library and upload your images. Come right in here to the library. Okay, now you can select here, upload, and then you can select that you're going to upload an image or a video, or you can upload direct from YouTube. If you want to do that, you just put your YouTube link right in here. Okay, so this shows images and this shows videos. You can see these are videos that I've already had uploaded. You just click upload and select your media that you want to upload. For example, if I grab this one and once that upload is finished, then you can just click done. Okay, when you upload a video, it's going to take the first 10 seconds of the video that's actually going to be insertable into your email. And then when somebody wants to watch the entire video, they click on it, it takes them to the page where they can see the entire video. So again, the first 10 seconds of the video are automatically taken right here for you to add into your email. Okay, right in here you can see the editor. You can browse the library. These are photos that I've already put in here. These are uploads that are already in there. 
and you can see the image editor right here. You can just select these different, you have these different options up here. Depending on whether you have the pro version or the basic, those will be different. So you can check out the sales page to see the difference there. But you can just kind of play around here in the image editor. These are all of the images, sorry, these are all the options and features that are available on the front end. So you've got the meme, enhance, effects, orientation, crop, resizing, lighting, sharpness, focus, spot whiten, and red eye and splash. These are in the front end and then the other elements there will be included in the pro. <clears throat> okay and that shows you just how simple it is to use the videos and the photo editor. Here right here you can see the languages. We've got Czech, Dutch, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish. So there for your multilingual you can have diff many different languages.